So the other day, Robbie Adair, the owner of OS Training, and I were chatting, and she was telling me that by far the best attended workshop she's been doing over the last six to 12 months have anything to do with artificial intelligence, chat, GPT, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and how it helps with web design. So I thought, you know what? I've messed with this a little bit. Let me go and ask chat GPT what certain CMSs are best used for. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And yep, I went and asked ChatGPT, what is Drupal best for? What is Joomla best for? And what is WordPress best for? Now, if you've been around these three content management systems for very long, you probably already know the answers to those questions. But you know what? It's interesting to see what the Global Artificial Intelligence Collective had to say. So let's take a quick peek because I think it's really interesting. So here's what came up when I asked, what is Drupal best for? Drupal is a versatile content management system best suited for a variety of web development projects. Yep, yeah, I know, really nice and generic, right? Well, complex websites, customization, community and collaboration, I think we'd all agree on that one, security, scalability, multilingual support, content workflow, e-commerce, integration, education, and nonprofits. Absolutely, all correct, all absolutely Drupal strengths, I would actually 100% agree with it. Interestingly, they did not mention federal government and other government entities that use Drupal since pretty much the entire federal government uses Drupal as well as the entire federal government of Australia and along with lots and lots of state and local county governments use Drupal as well. But hey, you know what? You can't have it all. Interestingly, down here in the little paragraph at the bottom, this is what's telling However, it's important to note that Drupal's flexibility can also mean a steeper learning curve and potentially higher development costs compared to simpler CMS platforms like WordPress. The choice of CMS, yada, yada, yada. Absolutely agree, 100%. I think ChatGPT got it absolutely right here. So then I asked, well, what's WordPress best for? WordPress is a versatile and widely used content management system, yada, yada, yada. Blogging, content publishing, ease of use, community and plugins, small to medium-sized websites, e-commerce, SEO-friendly, responsive design, cost-effective, and multilingual support. Again, the bottom paragraph is more telling. While WordPress is a versatile CMS with many advantages, it might not be the best choice for highly complex or unique web development projects that require extensive customization and specialized features. Now, I know a lot of WordPress developers that would absolutely disagree with that 100%. WordPress is used on some pretty large websites around the world. It manages 65% of all of the content managed driven websites on the internet. It's a beast. Everybody knows it. And so whether you agree with that or not, well, that seems to be the collective understanding of artificial intelligence, chat GPT. In such cases, a more flexible CMS like Drupal or custom web development. See, I tend to agree with this. I know WordPress developers don't, but this is actually where I sit pretty well. Cost effective, I have a bit of a problem with that one. Yes, it's cheaper than proprietary systems, but have you checked out the price of plugins in WordPress and how much it costs to maintain a site with 20, 30, or 40 plugins these days? It gets pretty darn expensive. And I think Drupal does some of these things actually better than WordPress does as well. What about Joomla? All right, well, I asked that as well. Content rich websites community and social websites, membership websites, e-commerce, event management, multilingual support, customization, extensions and templates, security, and educational institutions. So I really think ChatGPT got this a little bit wrong. Joomla has been in decline now for a number of years here in the United States. It's still holding strong in other places around the world. But here in the United States, Joomla has pretty much fallen out of favor with most web developers and programmers. There's a variety of reasons for that. I'm not going to go into that in this particular video, but certainly part of the problem is identified here in the closing paragraph. While Joomla has its strengths, it's important to note it might not be as user-friendly as WordPress. True. And it can have a steeper learning curve for beginners. Absolutely true. Additionally, for highly complex and custom projects, developers might find more flexibility and control with other CMS platforms like Drupal. 
again, true. Joomla has long tried to sit in the middle between WordPress and Drupal. The problem is the middle has shrunk to the point where it's almost non-existent. Don't get me wrong. I love Joomla. Been around it for years. Still use it a lot. But many of these particular things that ChatGPT highlights are no longer necessarily true when it comes to Joomla. Membership websites, e-commerce, event management, there are much better tools out there in WordPress and even in Drupal for things like that. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, Chat GPT, you know, the most popular AI platform out there, certainly gives us some things to think about when it comes to our three favorite content management systems. So do you agree? Do you disagree? Feel free to make a comment down below. We'd love to hear what you think. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name is Rod Martin. We'll see you next time.